One of the most annoying things that happens within Pro Tools, when you're switching sessions, Pro Tools freezes. And that usually happens when you have different sample rates. Pro Tools, it's really picky when it comes to changing sample rates. So you might be working with a session that's 192 kilohertz or 44. And then you might want to open one that's 48. And all of a sudden, Pro Tools just locks up and it closes and it restarts, trying to figure out what the problem is. It's usually related to that, to the sample rates. Why does this happen? No idea. But what I do know is if you have uh, an interface that it's one of theirs, meaning an Avid interface, like an Mbox or anything like that, that usually doesn't happen because you can switch sample rates and no problem. When you start using these third party uh, audio interfaces, you tend to bump into issues like this. Now I can't speak for all of them. So the question is, how do we fix this? And it's not as difficult as you might think. Some might tell you to delete some preferences. That always works, right? Well, not always. I would always start with that. Another thing, update your drivers. Again, all these techniques might work, but what I'm gonna show you always works for me and it doesn't give me any problems. I work at 48 kilohertz all the time. It's not because of sound quality or anything like that. I'm not gonna be the one to pretend that this sounds better than that, whatever. I do it because I'm always working with video. That is the preferred sample rate for video. So I'll keep everything at 48 kilohertz. One of the solutions right there, keep everything at one sample rate. That way you don't have to switch up. So if we look at the session setup, 48 kilohertz. So one of the things I wanna do, I wanna go to file, you wanna go to save as, and right at the end of your session name, I put 48K. If I was working on another project and it's at a different sample rate, before I open this one, I'll switch back to 48 kilohertz. Some interfaces out there have a GUI that you can open up and change your sample rates. Some don't allow you to do that, but there is always a way. And let me show you how I like to do that. I kind of like to shortcut everything. So I made a little program to open the control sound. This is what I'm talking about. So what I would suggest you to do, open your start menu. It doesn't matter if you're on 11 or 10, type in CP for control panel. And let's maximize that. Now, if it looks like this, all you have to do is go to view by categories, large icons, and look for sound. And there you go. Now you can see why I shortcutted this thing, right? I could avoid all of that. So here's what you wanna do. Find your audio interface, properties, advanced, and look, it's set at 48. So if we click this drop down window, we have all those sample rates that we can select. Now I'm not gonna change because I'm creating this video. Now you do this for all their devices. We have output one and two, three and four. You go to the inputs, you do the same thing. Another thing that could be done, you could right click and disable the device. Now it will disable the device. Windows won't be able to use it, but Pro Tools will. Just because Windows can't use the device, it doesn't mean your DAW won't be able to use it. And why is that important? Sometimes what happens, Windows, especially when you install something new for the first time, like a new piece of hardware, if it's an audio device, It'll make that its default sound. And that can cause so much conflicts because the operating system's trying to use it and then Pro Tools is trying to use it. You might have a lot of issues. So the best thing you can do is just completely disable it. So that is how I like to deal with this. So here's what I want you to do. Press that like button. First time watching, subscribe. Press the bell for future notifications. I want to thank you for watching my video. This is Ray and I'm out of here. Later guys.